But first, for the first time, video of the deadly attack on Marion County Sheriff's Deputy John Durham has been released. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bob Donaldson. I'm Debbie Knox, and Deputy Durham was killed during an escape attempt in July. CBS 4's Jesse Wells has a reaction from the sheriff following a review of that case. The surveillance videos released today provided a detailed timeline of the events that led up to Deputy John Durham's death here at the Criminal Justice Campus. And while the sheriff admits there were some policy failures in this case, he says the responsibility for the death ultimately lies with the accused killer. At 9.03 in the morning, Deputy John Durham places murder suspect Orlando Mitchell into handcuffs and shackles. Mitchell is then loaded into the back of a jail transport van at 9.05. The pair then drive out of the criminal justice campus. Nearly two hours later, at 1056, Mitchell finishes a medical appointment and leaves Eskenazi with handcuffs and belly chains secured. At 1115, tragedy ensued when Mitchell steps out of the transport van after being returned to jail and immediately wraps his handcuff chain, which he had somehow slipped off, around Deputy Durham's neck. The pair then struggled for nearly two minutes before Deputy Durham's neck was broken. A Cumberland officer then walks up and notices Mitchell driving away in the transport van and calls for help. Sheriff Kerry Forrestal admits chronic understaffing played a role in those events. This manpower leads to deputies taking on more responsibilities, which leads to an increased risk, which can lead to tragedy. Documents released earlier this month show the sheriff's office failed to follow their own internal policies of using two deputies to transport murder suspects to medical appointments. The sheriff says those policies are now being followed. I want to assure our community that we are taking the necessary steps to eliminate any opportunities for those who would wish to carry out harm against our staff. While two deputies were terminated for substandard performance and two other supervisors were demoted, the sheriff still pins the blame for the death squarely on Orlando Mitchell. It wasn't understaffing that killed John Durham. It was not faulty equipment that killed him, nor was it complacency. It was Orlando Mitchell. Specifically, the sheriff says they are short 75 deputies as well as 75 more detention deputies, but the sheriff did not outline a specific plan to try to fill those vacancies. Jesse Wells, CBS 4 News. In addition to requiring two deputies to transport inmates, the sheriff says all off-site medical services will now be authorized by a jail physician. Vans entering the Sally Port will also identify the number of prisoners on board and processing will meet the driver upon arrival. Finally, all deputies are also retraining on the use of belly chains. Prosecutors are now seeking the death penalty for that man accused of killing Deputy Durham. A special judge from Hendricks County is overseeing the case of Orlando Mitchell. The judge set a pretrial date for September 8th. No actual trial date has been set.